Six Lessons Entrepreneurs Can Learn from John Paul DeJoria's Rags to Riches Story When you're struggling to achieve your goals, it can be difficult to keep your perspective. But John Paul DeJoria, the billionaire co-founder of Paul Mitchell Systems, Inc. and Patron Spirits Company, took a very different approach to finding success. DeJoria has achieved over $1 billion in sales from his entrepreneurial endeavors. But he didn't pursue entrepreneurship as a career. In fact, he didn't start his career as an entrepreneur at all. He went into finance and worked at banks like Salomon Brothers, Bear Stearns, and Goldman Sachs. DeJoria graduated with a degree in economics and finance from the University of Pennsylvania in the early 1970s, but he dropped out of the New York University School of Law because he didn't want to be tied down for too long. When he realized that finance wasn't exactly the path to freedom and a stable life, he shifted gears and began selling hair products on the side. And it took a few tries before he found success. After he was fired from his first job for what he perceived to be poor performance, DeJoria spent the next five years pitching hair care products to different stores and to salons. It wasn't until he'd gone through three botched pitches that he realized he needed to get better. So, he sought out advice from his co-worker, Jim Richardson, who suggested that he team up with his brother-in-law to produce an entirely different product. Today, DeJoria's hair care line is used in eight countries and sold in over 120 countries. And his next big project isn't just a business endeavor. It's a cause. DeJoria is a staunch philanthropist who supports not only environmental causes, but also human rights. One of his biggest projects is a solar-powered housing development in Tanzania. DeJoria bought a 1,200-acre piece of land in the country and donated it to the local community in order to provide sustainable housing for the locals. The advice DeJoria learned early in his career that helped him build one of the most popular hair care brands in the world is anything but straightforward. In an exclusive interview with the ACE team, DeJoria offered the following advice for entrepreneurs who are struggling to achieve their goals. 1. Set your expectations low. I would tell someone who is still struggling to make it in business to just lower their expectations and to take a step back and see what's really there. I did it. It didn't happen overnight. I raised about $2 million and built this business and I spent about eight years doing it. And when I got to $1 million in sales, I quit my job to go do it full time. DeJoria said that the experience taught him valuable lessons about how to succeed in business. You've got to be realistic about where you are today and not getting ahead of yourself. It's about putting in the work and recognizing the value of that work and realizing there's a lot of opportunity in it. 2. Keep your eye on the prize. One of the main factors in DeJoria's success is his ability to stay focused. When DeJoria was developing his own hair care line, he only cared about selling his products to other salons. The fact that I didn't know where I was going to be was the great thing, DeJoria says. I never had a real plan. I never had a strategy. I didn't have a pipeline. I didn't know what the hell I was doing. DeJoria emphasizes that he made it a point to learn as much as he could and to continuously move forward. He explains, I used to say that I was going to build a small empire and I was going to be very successful, but I never knew if I was going to make it or not. It never was about the money. It was about having fun and creating opportunities. 3. Keep moving forward. DeJoria grew his hair care empire from $2 million to a billion dollar operation by focusing on product quality and bringing people into his products. He realized that the best way to grow his business was by being visible and leading by example. He explains, I never wanted to say I was going to get the next client and never saw them. So I had to work really hard and really smart to let them know that I was there, I was available, and I was going to show up. 4. Be honest with yourself. It's easy to get caught up in the hustle of everyday life and start to lose sight of your purpose. But if you're struggling, DeJoria advises you to be honest with yourself. It's really important to tell yourself the truth. People around you are going to judge you if you aren't happy. They are going to say you have a negative attitude. If you're miserable, you are miserable. If you're not fully committed to what you're doing, that means you aren't committed at all. 5. Create a budget. 
One of the biggest lessons that DeJoria learned in the world of business is to create a budget. Money is the key to everything. Without it, you're not going to be successful. You have to figure out what you want to do and be sure that you can actually do it. DeJoria believes that a budget can teach you valuable lessons about how to plan for success. At the beginning of my business, I got a budget. I said, this is what I want to spend and this is where I want to make my money. And I was there. I was very honest with what I was spending my money on. And I watched it go. If you plan it out and you actually spend it, you'll grow. 6. Not everything will go your way. Even if you prepare and set out to make it big, you can't always expect things to go your way. DeJoria advises that it's important to learn from failure and to keep on moving forward. It's amazing. I learned that you have to just have fun and enjoy the moment. Because when you do, you're going to be more successful. Every day you have to look at the fact that you just can't have any more bad days. Because if you do, you're going to be out of business. It's just that simple. Most entrepreneurs try to work 80 hours a week and they hope that that is enough to make it. But in reality, the most successful entrepreneurs like DeJoria are the ones that figure out how to build their businesses into true empires. And the best part is that it can be done in the right way without draining your bank account or leaving you feeling exhausted. DeJoria sums it up well. I hope you read this because I wish somebody would have given me these simple ideas when I was in the beginning. I had no money. I had no idea what I was doing. I had no network. But I did it anyway.